Plus Maelstrom time! Welcome back to more Disgaea 2! Uh, my microphone sounds a little different because I'm not using a traditional headset right now. Uh, but before we get into why that is, I just want to point out last time we uh, did more of the stuff. We went back to Murderer's Bolt and cleared more of the poisonous swamp out, and we almost died. Luckily, we survived. Because Rosalind decide, has a bit of a change of heart and decided, maybe I don't want to delve to die to such a nameless monster. Anyway, we cannot go forward until we visit the post office. But first, before that, during this episode, uh, we're going to be traversing the item world. That's why you see the episode length is a lot longer than usual. And because we know how bad the item world is due to Disgaea 1, though, thanks to good sequel design choice, it is a little better this time around. And also, to help me through this godforsaken dungeon that I'm going to be dealing with, I have brought a guest along. Introduce yourself. This is the Hierophant, also yeah. known as uh, Chaos Maelstrom's brother-in-law. Yeah, he's uh, he's basically here to um, help me through and my, help my sanity cope with this because it's going to be a train wreck otherwise. Okay, so we have the post officer over here and he is going to give us the uh, item that we need to progress the plot. There are no Saponias for you yet. Demons are only independent if they become a felon. You're still too inexperienced. Excuse me. You're not a felon yet? Well, I mean, is your goal to be a felon? You didn't lose some save data, did you? We'll be right back. Alright, welcome back to Chaos Maelstrom and the adventure of the big stupid thing that he can't do right. Welcome back. Yeah. Uh, so, question. that do, The postmaster was talking about subpoenas for felonies. Are you supposed to have a subpoena at some point? Yes, we're in the netherworld. Everything is backwards here. Felonies are like awards. Oh, okay. Good to know. <laughs> hey, there's a subpoena for Mr. Tink. <laughs> for me? <laughs> The subpoena was issued for your existence, it says. Yes, my, my crime is an ex uh, my, my existence is a crime, and so is yours. <laughs> I'm sorry I was born, but what the hell is that? Is he a felon now? Not yet. Next, you have to go to the item worlder. Ooh. Take the subpoena you received to the item worlder and enter the item world with that subpoena. Yeah, blah, 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 no one cares. Chaos, your only crime was being born. No, that was Tank. <laughs> At least, that's the only crime he has as of now. There are ways to get crimes later, but yeah. Uh, the way subpoenas work is you receive an item. Uh, there are a... Uh, no. I'm, I'm still getting used to the controls of this. That's Wait. why I'm going to have my... When I have a, a visitor, I'm going to help them have them bring up my one of my PlayStation controllers so this will be easier to play. You could always borrow one of my Xbox controllers and hook it up via USB. It's not the same! The A, B, X, Y are the same shape as a square cross circle triangle. You say that, but it's just not the same. Fine. No, I want to... Oh, okay. Two item bag. Okay. Alright, so now... Uh, I wonder, can we even use the Dark Assembly here? Nope, all the centers apparently caught a cold, so uh, no more new characters right now. So you mean they're just as useful as the American State Senators? Exactly! <laughs> Alright, so uh, now is the first time we're actually required to go into the item world, which is why I haven't entered it up until now. Now, the way subpoenas work is uh, you enter the item to level it up and on the... Uh, number that you see next to the bailiff, on that level of floor that you are on, that is where a mysterious gate will be. You enter that gate, and then you will receive your felony. Okay. However! Is that a level 4 there, crime? Uh, no. It, it appears on floor 4 of the uh, item world. It's uh, Item worlds are basically a dungeon. It's inside items. Oh no. That's why he brought me. He's gonna grind. 
It, yeah, it's going to be ten floors of, oh my god, I just wish I could do anything else but be here. But <laughs> now you might notice that the Safina is basically a useless item aside from the fact that it has the Bailiff. And so that enters the point, makes the point of entering it to level up and make it more powerful completely worthless. However, there is a way to get the Bailiffs out of subpoenas and into other items that you might actually want to level up. Broker, mediator. I am loving the themes here. Oh yeah. Speaking of which, let's go and talk about specialists, or as they were known uh, outside of the Sky One Innocence. Um, every si every item, all items usually have at least one uh, innocent in them. Depending on uh, what they are, increases a certain item stats. Gladiators increase the attack. Physicians are re resistance. Dietitians are HP. Marksmen are for hit stat. You get the picture. Brokers increase, increase the amount of hell you get, and mediators have a di different use that we'll be getting into later. They're a bit more complicated. But I think I actually want to get that, so I'm going to try to go into this dried worm. That sounds Where's the dried worm going to go into you? We're done having this conversation. <laughs> All right. So, now we're going to go ahead and go into the item world for the very first time. No, no, no. We are not going to the subpoena item world. We're... You're going to force me to, aren't you? The thing you don't want to do, you have to do. Welcome to hell. Okay, well, normally, um, after after this point, after the tutorial thing, uh, you would be able to go to, uh, what is it? Brain. Please comply with me. You'd be able to uh, move subdued residents out. As you can see, the bailiff is subdued residents. Residents with the red thing are unsubdued. You can move any innocent into any item that if they are subdued. That includes subpoenas. So this is the one time we're ever going to have to let, go into a subpoena. And it's the one time I will ever use do such a thing. But yeah. I would be going into the dried worm, but sadly that is not the case though. Before I do this, I'm going to say because you never know what you're going to find in the item world because all floors are randomly generated. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Uh, just a little bit. It sounds like it, they never want to make it too easy for you. Oh no, is this a tutorial? Uh, it's very, very short. Anyway, um, I'll be able to, uh talk about this later. So the court is on the fourth level. As you can see, it's the same level as the uh, bailiff that was inside. Do you get penalized for being late to court? No, there is no time limit. The subpoena is sent to Mr. Tink, but the person who actually enters the court gate will receive the trial and the felony. Oh, then it is possible to lay my claim on Monsieur Adel instead? That's right. And you can't... Oh, right. We have to finish this, and we can use the Mr. Gensi exit to leave the item world anytime we want, but yeah, unfortunately that's not going to be the case. So, welcome to the item world. Drastically improved from Disgaea 1, though it's still a bit of a pain. Alright, so again, they're basically just randomly generated dungeons. Uh, you can beat lots of enemies to earn money and such, and you can earn uh, some pretty cool items. Uh, mm -hmm. You always want to pay close effect uh, attention to the Geo symbols, because that, uh, dictates what exactly you will be able to uh, do in the item world to uh, make things easier for you. I know that didn't make any sense, but I felt like saying it, so I will. Alternatively, instead of clearing the floor, you can go ahead and uh, just go to the, through the dimensional gate to advance to the next floor. However, I feel like some of our characters are a little lower level, so I'll probably clear some of these floors. Well, I, I imagine you want to get to that treasure chest up there, too. Actually, yes. Uh, may not contain a great item, but chances are it will contain a useful item, so I'm probably going to go for it. And for a second there, I thought you said useless. Right. Just gonna... How the hell do I get... Oh, you're in the way. All... No, all these frig... Okay, you know what? Th this floor is basically a lost cause. <laughs> you don't want to fight that much? No. I I'm not going to be able to do this because now Del's in the way. No, I could just... Okay. Del! Get back in the base panel. I refuse to go through all this shit today. It's Adele, man. She's, she's just calling to say it to me again. That joke goes over my head. I don't know what that is. Don't worry, your viewers will get it. 
<laughs> Viewers. That's funny. You think I have them. Alright. And so yeah, I'm just gonna skip that floor. That was a bad floor to start off with anyway. Uh oh, we have the Beastmaster, uh, for the first time. They are humanoid classes who power up monsters. And wow, another crappy floor. Uh look, look at all these damage effects. If I wanted to, I could clear the uh, Geo effect on this floor. Oh, that's another thing. Always check the bonus list because you never know what you're going to find that will be useful. And actually... A cell phone? Yeah. Uh, I feel like I actually maybe might want some of these items. So I'm going to try to uh, clear this floor of Geo panels, which is easier said than done. But I have, I'm pretty good at doing it, if I do say so myself. Not to toot my own horn, but... Hmm. Right. <laughs> so yeah, this is that's basically the item world, the very gist of it. So and now begins the long and arduous process of going through it. Oh no! Yeah. Yay! Experience. That's something. Doesn't get awarded until I clear the stage, and only the characters who are dispatched when I clear the stage. But hey, I still got something. Right. Was there a character named Poop Lord? Or was that Spoop Lord? It's Spoop Lord. It's Poop. Yeah. Go, Harold Jr. You're terrible at your job. Well, Harold's supposed to be a berserker, and that looked like he was just carrying a wand. Well, I mean, the Beastmaster was. This is Harold Jr. Oh, he has a pointy bone. Yeah. It's one of the lowest monster tier weapons. Uh... Of course, now all the damage Geo symbols are everywhere. Alright, uh. I'm going to count on this guy getting. Oh! Okay. No combo attack glitch for me to worry about, so that's good. Combo right. attack glitch, is that something from the PSP? It's something from this guy one that basically was one of my more def one of the more defining things throughout my let's play of that game. Was that demon's name literally Kelly? Oh yeah, all the uh, all the um, people's names are randomly generated here. Oh no, I saw Django. Is he gonna go unchained? He got a critical. Ooh. Oh, and he countered. Yeah. This is his first time ever seeing a Disgaea game, can you tell? <laughs> just a little bit, just a little bit. It kind of reminds me of any other, like, Final Fantasy Tactics type game. Yeah, I guess it sort of gives that vibe. Uh, you are with the ice, okay. It's Clarice. And there is very Hello, little Clarice. There is very little safe ground for Wait! Are these guys gonna get start moving? I know that some of them have little shits. Okay, you don't move. Oh, you haven't met the little shits yet. Okay. Hopefully none of these guys are gonna move. Because I don't want to have me getting damaged right the freak out of... Mm. Really, Clarice? Okay, well... Well, I guess we'll... Clarice, where's Hannibal? There's another joke that goes right over my head. Silence of the Lambs. Oh my god, Harold Jr. actually survived. How dare you break my armor! That is reserved for those... Uh, I did not notice Tink was standing on one of those panels. Uh, well Tink, um, you get to take a nap now. Uh, you're standing in the way so I can't do anything about that. Okay. Uh, no wonder he was I'm hard. Loser, baby. He's got like legendary... Why don't you kill me? He's got legendary slippers and... Uh, oh, for a minute I thought like, where's Gizmo? I can't find her. Is she dead? But no. Because I know I healed like, before I went in here. Uh, Just remember, don't feed her after midnight. Oof. No chance of stealing those slippers. That's a reference I actually get then. 
Finally! <laughs> Didn't he? Here. Chaos in the future. Put a little achievement noise right there. I mean, it's not exactly my name there, but I mean, everybody knows that I'm Sean on this channel, so. Okay. And. Oh boy. If I. Okay, if I kill this guy, I can be just done with the floor, but. Ugh. Just remember, you have to go through the four floors of uh, hell. I want to try to at least uh, do the thing. Hmm. Hold on, give me a moment to look at this. I got it. Okay, um, so. I thought of something I could do to actually clear the geo symbols off this floor, so. Why can't I not move? I, I already acted, that's why. Okay. And I move myself onto a damage panel. Great. Okay, um, Azra, please save me. Thank you. And I'm gonna try to move the rest of you guys back into the base panel because... We're about to, uh, completely wreck this floor of shit, for lack of a better term. Hey, look, it's Angry Mothra. Did you just lose? No, it ended its turn on a, on a damage panel and died. <laughs> I could have cleared this floor if it had survived one turn, but no, of course not. Nothing can ever go my way. So does this mean you have to start over? Oh! Attack plus one reverse damage, my favorite combination of geo symbols. Oh god, can you... Stack even more attacks. This is fantastic. Okay, uh... So they can have positive and negative effects. Oh, yes. Alright. So reverse damage works exactly the way you think it is. does. Healing does damage, and getting damaged heals you. That sounds great, right? Attack plus one uh, lets you perform another action of the attack you just made. If awesome. you make an action there. So double attack. Essentially, yes. But something I love doing. I just like love watching this. I'm actually enjoying <laughs> Just heal him and then it's like cast heal on him and then he just coughs up blood. Well, I mean, in Dungeons and Dragons, whenever you do that to the undead, they act, healing actually hurts and poison actually helps. Yeah, yeah. Also, there's another thing that hasn't happened yet, but you need to be wary of in the item world. There's a little something called pirates. We'll be getting into that if it actually happens, which I hope it doesn't because I do not want that to happen. I love how all of the side boss, uh, side minions all have names. They aren't just called, like, ghoul. They all each have their own name. Mm. It makes killing them much more personal. Okay, the enemies on these floors are either pretty strong or I'm pretty underleveled, which it could be either or both, honestly. Oh, right! Tink is almost dead. Um... I want to save Tink, so I'm gonna do my damnedest to wipe out all immediate threats in the area. That includes these guys. Oh boy. The next character you get, you have to name Hannibal, and he has to be a Berserker type character. So every time Clarice comes out, so does Hannibal. No. Nobody tells me how, what to name my characters. I name them whatever I damn well feel like I want to name them. Provincible. What's that from? Provincible? Oh, Prinvincible? Yes. He is a pr he's a Prinny. I always name my Prinnies, uh... I always have an in... A name that starts with in. So I tra transform them from Prinny to, like, Prinvincible. Like, uh, last time I believe I had, uh... What is it? Pringle? And other times I had pr <laughs> pr Prindependence? <laughs> Pringle. Yes. Okay. And nothing I can do to stop this orc, but he won't be able to get to tank, so... I'm not too worried for that. Okay. 
Good. And... Okay, this should hopefully kill the, uh, Room Knight. Another, uh, humanoid class we haven't, uh, seen yet. Again, we'll be going over all these classes as, uh, we get to unlock them, but just know that, uh, Rune Knights are basically spell swords. Okay, and... Yeah, this episode... The item world. I'm only gonna make you guys go through this once with me. Birdie boy. He's just a... The only reason he exists was so I could teach Adele fire magic, which he doesn't even use much. Alright. Uh, that should be okay for now. And now it's their turn! <laughs> <laughs> and, okay, fine. Did you they guys just steal your treasure chest? They, they broke the treasure chest. Yeah, I didn't care about that. Okay, how dare you take a... Okay, I'm... You know what? I'm probably gonna... Uh, I'm probably going to use that Gantz exit as soon as I uh, get through here because I, I am having a bad time in this item world. Yes, I know. I'm going to have a bad time. <laughs> okay, luckily Lucille will finish that guy. Also, uh, Tink, get the fuck in the base panel. I don't want you dying. Okay, and... Actually, you know what? I got a better idea. Don't want to waste your SP healing? Use your regular attacks! No, I'd wonder, how can regular attacks heal someone? REVERSE DAMAGE! <laughs> so, that's because he's on the panel. Yes! <laughs> I love the way I think. Alright, uh... Let's go. And these guys are on reverse damage, so I'm not even going to bother. But yeah. you can heal them. I mean, yeah, I can, but, I mean, they're also my enemies. But if they're on reverse damage, healing does damage, does Yeah, it? but these guys don't have any... Glox is the only one capable of healing that I have right now. Alright. I'm pretty sure that uh, this lady's done, yeah. Okay. And, uh... There are lots of tricks I can uh, show in the item world, but I think I should probably show those gradually. Um, okay. Or maybe they'll all just come here. And now it's your turn! Uh, that doesn't have- that doesn't have the same ring of scopes. And now it's their turn! You, get off that panel. And get where I can kill you. Do you even lift, bro? Yeah, lifting is a big thing in this game. <laughs> Alright, that guy's dead. Hmm. Mainly I'm just gonna worry about clearing these floors for now, and... The, was the name of that character Mufasa? Uh, yeah. Mustafa, okay. It's the Brokeback uh, Mufasa. Okay, this puppet is in the way, so I'm gonna uh, have him get dead in first. You guys don't know it yet, but these attack plus one panels are going to be insanely useful for grinding weapon mastery and uh, even filling the bonus gauge later on. I could show you how to do that here, but I don't feel like it right now. No, right now you want to get through through this hell. Yeah. Somehow, somehow I think they made the item world take even longer. Maybe it's just because I'm not zoomed out. That usually helps me get things, my brain process faster. Really, Lucille? Really? Okay, well, um... How many enemies do you have left? Is it those three? Just those two. Oh, two, okay. Of course, sometimes there were, uh, in Disguise 1, there were usually floors that were unclearable because an enemy would spawn on a little island that would appear over here and none of your attacks could reach it. That's called bad programming. Yes! <laughs> I'm amazed that they let that happen, to be honest, but... 
And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why you hire beta testers before you release the game. But yeah, again, this guy too fixed so many of the problems that the first game had. Okay, you punched her twice. Congratulations, you accomplished absolutely nothing. They punched the initiative. Okay, um... You know what, these are the references, Sean. Oh, we'll actually be getting some, uh, decent items for this, and including some EXP, so I'm gonna dispatch some characters who want to absorb that EXP. Uh, Okay. So you have a character named Fluffy Buns, but you've never played Borderlands? I have no idea what board, what a character named Fluffy Buns in Borderlands would do. I just... I couldn't think of a name for my moth that wasn't Mothra, so... <laughs> yeah, I just went... Blue with... Man Group reference. Yeah, remember? You shake your Mothra. Okay, so... The person who enters the gates gets the, uh... The felony. Yes. Now we just need to find said gate. I'm assuming it's that monolith right there. It's over here. Uh, that The gate we want is over there, actually. Uh, Tink, can you... No, no one's getting to that treasure chest! Alright. Um, I actually want to give this to Adele, because... Uh, some silly things happen if you uh, give these uh, to characters who don't... Who aren't on... Who haven't earned this uh, thing. There are other ways you can do this, but for this first one, I'm just gonna show bare bones what happens if you go in here with only one unit. There are ways you can get multiple units in there. Are you, you getting ready to you. sacrifice yourself? Or? Oh no! This is what happens. Oh, I get an achievement. Demon <laughs> court. Silence! Order in the court! It is an honor for demons to commit heinous and devious criminal acts. I will now pass judgment according to netherworld law. Although it appears that the defendant standing before us is not the one who we summon. <laughs> oh well, no skin off my beak, dude. We, <laughs> the dark court, give whoever you are our highest praise. Dude. And grant the defendant dude. a glorious on your criminal record. Yay! Sarah Demon's war medals. Be one of the few, the proud, the ultimate sinners. <laughs> Good luck. Case closed. Court adjourned. Could you imagine you just show up to court and you get sentenced for something that you didn't even do? Oh, hey, I even get a free dark rosary out of that. That's good. Now it says we have achieved our goal. Are we going to fight through the tenth? No! Shut the hell up, Tink! You see, this is why you're not allowed to get get felonies for you, you being born. Also, we have a new class here. I'm going to ignore the old man class, and we're going to exit because I don't feel like talking about them because I am sick of the item world and I want to get out of here. Of course, that's... Oh, I'm only sick of the item world when it comes to... When it comes to getting to the tenth level? No, no, no. When it comes to uh, recording it. Doing it in my own time, free time, I am fine with. I just cannot provide commentary for a long time. And we get pointless levels on this Saponia that I will never go back into. Saponia. Subpania. Subpina. Subpina, that's it. I can never pronounce that word right. Okay. I'm done with that. So now we can progress in the story, but I'm actually going to go back to the item world off screen and do a few more things. Uh, one thing that didn't happen, aside from the pirates, is uh, occasionally you'll find gates that are like the dark court that you can go into. They're called mysterious gates, and they have rooms of varying effects. Um, I'll probably record a few things off screen if I ha one of those things happens to happen to me, but um, yeah, that is all you're getting out of the item world that isn't going to be like mentioned offhandedly. So next time on Disgaea 2, Dark Hero Days, PC, Cursed Memories, whatever this game is. I, I've been in the item world too long, I'm sorry. <laughs> no more grinding! Join me as we go to Tragedy Land, and, well, I'll tell you guys something. But Don't... have you heard of the, uh, the tale of Darth, uh, the tragic tale of Darth Plagueis the Wise? It takes place in Tragedy Land. That takes place in, like, his head. 
but regardless, next time we'll be going to Tragedy Land and, well, it's going to be a tragedy. See you guys next time. Laters. Laters. Okay, now get out of my house. Hey guys, Chaos Maelstrom here again uh, with a quick tutorial on clearing a floor of geo panels, specifically mostly for the item world, which are usually randomly generated. So you can see here, um, I'm going to start off this geo chain. I've already set up all the geo symbols. Uh, I'm going to start off by hitting this one right here, this yellow geo symbol. Now, the way this works is I'm going to is going to blow up everything on the purple panels. And also on the purple panels is this red geo symbol. So after the, pur the yellow geo symbol turns everything to on the purple panels to yellow, then everything on the in the yellow panels will turn to red. Now notice how I already have on the yellow on the already uh, formed yellow panels a green geo symbol. So that'll turn. So after that thing turns everything to red, the green geo symbol will turn everything on red to green, and the blue geo symbol will turn everything on green to blue. And then there'll be all the geo colors, so all the panels will be one color, and that will also get rid of the null geo symbol, which will get rid of all the geo panels. Now, before you start off this chain, I always advise, make sure all your units that you have dispatched, because your bonus gauge will probably be filled after you do this. That's why I recommend doing it. Make sure all your units that you have dispatched are not on a geo, sim geo square, for, with the exception of one class, the uh, a druid class, or whatever the old man is. He does not take geo, da geo damage from uh, geo breakdowns. And also, uh, on the final blast, the null geo symbol will damage all your enemies for you. So, to show it off, uh, if you like having all your units dispatched to rake in some EXP and there's only like a select few uh, tiles that you can have them dispatched on, I recommend uh, stacking them. Towering the units is a good way to uh, have them dispatched without actually being in, in a dangerous area. Alright, I'll shut up. Here we go. Oh yes. Go, my beautiful Geo Symbols. Do the work that you were destined to fulfill. <laughs> And you're still alive, and it didn't fill the bonus gauge quite as much as I hoped it would. I really like that cell phone. Well, that is my uh, brief tutorial. There are other ways to do this. Uh, there are lots more colors. So there are uh, other ways, other colors you'll have to get used to. Also, their um, reverse damage and invincibility uh, geo symbols make it so that you can combo off of those. Uh, I'll be uh, showing that in a future installment. But uh, yeah, that is basically all I have for this. So yeah, that was my brief tutorial on clearing geo symbols, specifically in the item world.